This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and small review on this TP-Link AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender. So this is not the uh, highest uh, quality, best model they have. It's just uh, an okay model. Um, and I say that because as you can see down here, the speeds are only 300 megabits using uh, 2.4 gigahertz or 867 megabits using 5 gigahertz. Now, depending on the user, you might say, oh yeah, those are great specs. But if you're a power user or a gamer, those are okay specs. They're not that great. They're, they're okay. Let's leave it at that. So this has two different modes. You can use it as an extender or as an access point. Um, you can also connect an ethernet uh, device in here if you wanted to. So let's say you wanted uh, to connect your PS5 and with an ethernet cable, you would set this to range extender mode, plug it in, and then you would have a hard link, which is technically a little bit better than Wi-Fi, but you're using a range extender. So results may vary. Let's leave it at that. So according to this, um, it's supposed to give you a good amount of uh, range. I'm not sure if you can see the yellow bubble here. So if you were to set it upstairs in a bedroom, for example, it's supposed to hit the main floor kitchen, extend out almost to another bedroom. The range is okay, nothing great. So according to this in the package contents, you get the installation guide on the device. It has intelligent signal light, dual band pickup, all basic stuff, easy setup. So let's just go ahead and unbox this. I'm gonna use my Husky X-Acto knife here. Okay, that's it for the box, nice and empty. Um, so you got garbage here, more garbage, and the quick installation guide. So you basically scan that QR code and it's gonna give you a video. Um, I'm fairly familiar with technology, so I don't really need this. Um, last time I had one of these, you installed an app and connected to the access point using whatever SSID signal it was giving, uh, set it into extender mode. And yeah, exactly what I just said, basically. Connect to the TP-Link extender. Once you're in there, set it to extender mode, add your Wi-Fi network to it, username, password, and away you go. So here's the extender itself. It's fairly compact. It's got dual antennas, which is nice, because then you can set the direction it does make a difference when you set the direction of the antennas. Trust me on that. It's got a couple uh, little holes here for heat. Uh, the Ethernet cable, the reset button, the WPS button. Never use those. They're a waste of time. They don't work 99% of the time. And then right here, you got the power LED, signal LED, 2.4 gigahertz band LED, and 5 gigahertz band LED. The plug is fairly standard, no ground. And that's pretty much it. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and plug this thing in and then open up the app and get the setup started. All right, so I have a plug right here. There's my ring range extender. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this TP-Link extender in right here. And then I'm just gonna get under here to show you the LED lights. So there's the power. And then once it's fully powered up, that's when we can go to the app and continue the configuration process. But as far as this goes, that's pretty much it. Set the antennas in whatever direction you want them. Uh, I'm in the basement, so I want them to point up. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll show you guys the app next. All right, so here's the TP-Link Tether app that uh, was mentioned on the box. I've used this app before and it's disabled because I haven't used it, I guess, in a while. So you would go to your app store, type in TP-Link app or TP-Link Tether, and then install it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enable here and open the app up. Okay, so from here, you're gonna have to create your own uh, username and password. So you would go ahead and uh, create your username and password 
and then it'll send you an email to activate and log in. So once you've gone ahead into your email and click the activate email, this is the page you'll see. And then from here, you'll go back to the app and then from the app, you're gonna log in. So once you have logged in, from here, you wanna go ahead and click add, range extender, LED is solid as we saw earlier, allow permissions for everything, next and it's found the extender so you're going to hit connect and successful so you're going to want to create a password to manage this uh, for the sake of this video, I don't know, I'll just call it Mike Bot. I'll change it after. So this is the password you'll use to manage the device. So there's my local device, it's got to log in. I guess the default password is admin. Incorrect password apparently. Let's try the one I created earlier. So from here, you're going to go ahead and pick your network. And then once you pick your network, you're going to put the password in for it. Once you put the password in, you click next. These pages are going to be blurred. Same thing as before, put the password in. Confirm your username and uh, confirm your SSID and password for both networks, give it a name, apply it, and then wait for it to apply the settings. And basically that's it, simple as that. The app is gonna be connect, uh, connecting to your device, configuring it, and it's gonna be ready to go. So from there, you'll basically just go down into your Wi-Fi, and you wanna select the uh, whatever you named it. So in my case, I named it my SSID underscore EXT. So I connected that, and now I'm connected to the extender moving forward. So you want to confirm your location of the device. Uh, mine is good because I'm not actually going to use this device. I actually have a couple other extenders I use. This one is just a backup. Confirm you want to connect to it. Connection successful. Logging back into the device. And then here is the overview. And simple as that, you are good to go. From here, you can manage your clients, see who's connected. So from here, you can manage clients, block them, um, set the speed, so on and so forth. And that's pretty much it. That's how simple it is. So thank you all for watching today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like or leave a comment below or both would be appreciated. Thanks again. Mike Bot out.